Fight me! And welcome back to episode two of The Monster and the Bride, brought to you by Check the Candy and See the Balloons, because we're <laughs> celebrating people. Uh, cheers. This is my co-host Jess. I'm John. Uh, episode two. So, um, so, we've got some changes going on in our life, so we're about to move, mm -hmm. which is great. Bought a new house. So, our setup isn't all that cool yet, Yep. but <laughs> it's going to be once we move into the new place and we set up the new studio. So, bear with us for this episode, but um, we're excited. We're very excited. So, want to tell them a little bit about what we're covering today? So, we're actually going to go over the mummy. Um, the original mm -hmm. and the one starring Brendan Fraser. Mm, yeah, we're gonna compare. We're gonna compare them a little bit. Um, 1932 Mummy, Universal mm. Monsters, classic. Um, you know Boris Karloff, who basically feels feels like he starred in like every single. Yeah, he's classic, all the big things. Classic movie. I mean, he is Prince Imhotep. He's Frankenstein's monster. I mean, the list goes on and on with Boris. Um, so anyway, let's get into the original here. We had just rewatched it um, last week, mm -hmm. and what'd you think? Was I, that your first time watching it, or was it? Have you seen it before? No, that was my first time watching that one. Um, I honestly loved it because I am somebody that loves dialogue. Yeah. So, and those older movies are are mostly dialogue. The best um, title card ever. Yeah. Too. We talked about that. I love. The title card of this movie, man, it is so good. Just the pyramid with the, the, the font that pops out. It's really fun and cartoony. Uh, goes great with the black and white um, style of the movie. Obviously. When they do like the freeze frames of him just looking, yeah, it's, it's so terrifying. Good. And it's like <laughs> Bo Boris Karloff in. You know what I mean? It's so good. Um, I will say, I have seen this movie before. Um, I love all these old monster movies. Um, I will say that rewatching it, it's probably my second or third time rewatching it, but um, I like the movie a lot, but it's not for, I think this out of most, uh, out of all the other Universal Monster movies, this one kind of lacks a little bit of a story and is kind of quick. It's a quick movie. For sure. It's quick, but I definitely think there's a story. Well, I mean, there's a story, but I, I guess my thing is, like, I love Prince Emotep, right? Mm -hmm. And he's not in the movie that yeah. much, you know, which right. is fine. I understand that. But he's mostly portrayed as Ardeth Bay the, when he's not the mummy, right? The museum keeper. Correct. So, I... I but when he's on screen, like, at the, this movie just kind of jumps right in, right? Yeah. And, it, and when you first see him as the mummy in the coffin, the open coffin at the beginning, it's beautiful. It's yeah, so yeah. beautiful. And I love that about these movies because it it just seems like, you know, what the, the time we grow up in, like these movies are considered to be not, I mean, I would never consider the Universal Monster movies to be the best horror movies of all time. No, but no. they are the OGs. They're on yeah. the, the Mount Rushmore as far as like, you know, their jerseys are in the rafters. Like, they're, the grand, they're like the grandparents of horror. Yeah. They're, they and, started it. And it's because they have such, some of the shots of these monsters in these movies, especially the mummy, are so creepy and mm. well done and amazing. And I think that's why I wish that he was in the movie more. Yeah. yeah. And I understand why they not, didn't. He is him, but he's not him. Right, correct. As far as the creature himself goes, that's what right. I, right. You know, in the in the Brendan Fraser one ninety eight, I think it was, they referred to him as the creature a lot when he's the mummy. Yes. And then when he turns full back to full human form, they caught they start they calling call him Prince Emotep. Yeah. Which is cool, and I like that shout out. So I really, you know, I, we grew up on the the mummy franchise with mm -hmm. Brendan Fraser and all them, but. This movie, I mean, when he is the mummy, it is terrifying looking. Like if you, I would love to see it like on the big screen, you know what I mean? Because it's it's so beautiful, especially with the black and white. Yeah. I mean, it just looks incredible and he looks great. Well, like the biggest difference is, is like, you know, he kind of go, he, they wake him up very similar. It, they do shout out to that in the remake of those scenes are not the same, but they are very similar with the reading of the book and things like right. that. Yeah, the scroll of Toth or right. whatever it's called in the original. Yeah. But rather than him like 
you know, enslaving people and trying to find an ox and a moon. He basically wakes up and he just is like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go do my thing until I find her again. Yeah. I love that scene where they like, don't show him walk away. Yeah. You just they see just the, see the, but the then we get a, tether. but then we get a really weird scene in the movie where, you know, the, the, the archeologist or whoever's in the room with him mm. lets out mm. this absurd mm. laugh, an absurd <laughs> laugh. And I'll clip that in right now because I mean, this laugh, it, was, it is. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, he just laughs for 40 seconds, and we were both like, I don't remember this being in the movie. Like, yeah. And he just is, it's like he's going, like, psychotic, which yeah. I guess back then they were like, let's make it right. seem like he's losing his mind. Because right, I right. guess, what do you do if you see a mummy come to life? You, well, back maybe then you would they, do that. But. Back then, they in that time period, they associated hysterical laughter with going mad. So, right, right, correct. Yeah. So it makes sense, but, like, <laughs> on, on screen, it looks a it little weird. It was uncomfortable. It looks a little weird, for sure. Um but yeah, you're right. This is a love story. Mm -hmm. I mean, the this, whole, is this one is through and through a love story. Yeah, I mean, he takes a few people out here and there, but mostly it's people like people getting in his way, though. Like everyone yes, that he takes out is people interrupting him when he's trying to like do something or conjure whatever. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, it's, it, it takes a long time, and it's it's like it's not about him gaining power or even no. becoming what he was before he was killed or buried alive right which is a great scene which is a way. great scene they great and, that. and they also in the remake that scene is very is. That scene. not as sexual because at the time right. they couldn't do like the moving of the makeup and the smudging right. and things like that but the way that it um like they show the pharaoh making him you know all the people wrap him up and he's alive and it's very it, it is very much a shout out in the remake yeah they cut off part. they make it much more sinister they yeah, cut out yeah, cut out his yeah. tongue they put the bugs in with him which you see no bugs really in the, yeah, the no, original but no. you do see his his ring his has ring the has bug the on bug on it which, which is super cool bro. that is like the creepiest I'm thing trying to get that me. ring i want okay. that ring i'll find it for you for my birthday my birthday's in july i want that ring okay but um, yeah, I, you know, there's 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 stuff in the remake that is just unbelievable looking, and it still yeah. has that like classic feel. Yeah. Like when they show, it's old enough now, or like when they show the pyramids in the background and stuff. It's like it's okay CGI, but it's not great. Mm -hmm. So like it it it's starting to be classic, which is great. Um, but in the first one, I mean, yeah, it's 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 him trying to bring her back and 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 be with her and it's like yeah. this whole love story which it seems like a lot of these old monster movies that's all it that really all is it about is. it's their love stories and it's it's they put horror around it it's always the the freak of nature trying to get with the pretty woman right mm -hmm. so so i i do love that aspect about it i just wish i mean the movie is all dialogue yeah the and, whole thing and the i will say thing. that like i don't and it's rushed it's very it's, it's very it's, very yeah. quick i mean the movie was made for like 190 or 196 thousand yep. dollars it was like not that much money um and i mean not a lot of money well, were being put into horror movies back then anyway but right but you also they they i mean her outfits were very provocative mm -hmm. you know they did there was i think as much like sexual tension as there could be for that time period they did push a sure. limit there um yeah like i definitely I don't know. I feel like if I lived in that time, seeing her in like the Egyptian yeah, like outfit, because screen. she keeps like going out. It's almost like because she's an ancestor of a Nox and a Moon, but she's technically right. like she's her like reincarnated re as yeah, well. Yeah, the reincarnate, right? So she just she'll be awake sometimes, and then she's asleep. And when she's asleep, she's just like emotional. Yeah, yeah. Which they do a lot in like the Mummy too. Yes. The Mummy yes. Returns. Yes. The Brandon they, Fraser one, which is 2001, I yeah, think. Yeah, and they shout out to that a yeah. lot. Yeah, so that's kind of like like those two movies, which is cool about the mm -hmm. franchise, mm -hmm. is it, it really plays off the original like with those two movies together. Um, and then after that, they fall off horribly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, though, because honestly, like this was so much, like the original is so much dialogue. And then it's almost like when they did the remake, they're like, hey, we're going to really play off the dialogue and we're going to make it like two movies. Because right. technically, it is just one band of a story. Yeah, that was the other thing. The, so the other thing I didn't love about, uh, I don't love about the original is that, like, I don't really, you don't really care about the characters that much, obviously. Like, I, except for yeah. like an Oxen and Moon and Emotep, like, 
you know, they with the newer one, they said, hey, Brandon Fraser's, we're going to make him the hero. Like, oh, yeah. that we're going to have a hero aspect and we're going to make this more of an adventure film. Also, a love film as well, or a romantic yeah. uh, story as well. But they give the action and the adventure in there a yeah. lot, which, and I mean, when I was a kid, man, 1998 scared me. When they cut mm -hmm. off his tongue and bury him alive, I was terrified Ooh. of that. Or, you know, me and you had talked about when Benny gets trapped in the pyramid oh, and the door is closed and his, tor and his torch goes out. Like, that scared me. Like, when he's I was excited a kid. at first because all the gold and then everything just yeah. shuts. <laughs> and the Beatles, like, surround oh. him. I mean, that movie, like, got me, dude. Like, the bugs, like, suffocate the flame yeah. out. Ooh. That movie got me because of those scenes. Like, I had never, as a kid, I had never seen those scenes before and didn't really know much about ancient Egypt and pyramids or mm. mummies. Like, mm. That was my first time really experimenting with that stuff, being like, oh, they what was, they were mummified, like mummification, and they would I, wrap you up, and they would it would preserve you, and like all this kind of stuff, and like you look back on the movie now, and like I think the mummy st as creature form still looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. He's scary, um, speaks in the old you know ancient Egyptian mm -hmm. tongue, which is great. Uh, so there's a lot of things to love about the remakes, which. Is it the best remake of the old Universal movies? Or I'm trying to think of like, like there's a, like, I don't think there's been a good remake of Frankenstein. No. But Dracula, Dracula there was a I good think one. That, would be, that would be the one to debate against because and that the was, mummy yeah. remakes, one and two, are like a movie, like if you. If you end up liking it, like you end up loving it, right. like it is one you can rewatch again and again. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't get sick of watching it, and it really does. Where I had never seen the original, I really picked up on all the things that the remakes really did pay homage yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like when they, when they, I keep going back to it, but when they did bury him alive and they cut out his tongue and he's squirming, I just pictured the other guy. Like, yeah, if you put those, if you put those frames next to yeah. each other, like it's almost identical. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd love to see the other one in black and white as well to, like, really compare. They really did well with that. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I think it might be the best remake of, like, obviously the Hammer Horror films did did the the monster movies too, which I haven't seen many of those. Mm -hmm. I know they did The Mummy in, like, 1959 or 1960. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, and, and those are all in color and stuff, and, and I would like to watch a we'll probably get into those movies a lot because I haven't touched on the Hammer mm -hmm. Horror ones yeah. uh, all that much. But um, as far as the 1932 mum, uh, The Mummy, I, Boris Karloff is great in it. Mm -hmm. He looks fantastic. That end scene when he starts to deteriorate again oh, is great. It was so good. Um, so good. And then For obviously the, the Brendan Fraser ones I love. Um, I love them. Because I always love when there's a little bit of horror, a little bit of adventure, and a little bit of yeah, a little comedy, a little <laughs> romance. It kind of had all. I of them. love all of it. Yeah, but it was done really well. Yeah. Um, but I, I do, I do really, really appreciate and love the original. There's just a few things like, I think the 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 story. I think I just think obviously the 1998 version. I just I grew up on that one, so mm. that story is better to me. Right. And I don't love the score, in the old one, which they had a hard time with scores back in the day. Anyway, like there's no. What do you mean by there, score? Like the the music, like there's oh yeah yeah yeah. There's no like there's no uh, te uh, tension, you know what I mean? There's no suspense yeah, in no. a lot of those movies. You saw it like once you got to like the fifties and sixties with like Psycho, mm -hmm. with the bathroom scene. Then you started to see that the score actually work in your favor for suspense. Well, I but. think it also like for example, like you said, like you didn't really fall in love with any of the characters because. In a lot of those movies too, they don't take a lot of time to like build. No, characters. no, I mean, and what was the movie like a hundred? It was like an hour and twenty minutes, maybe yeah. something like that. So like, it's not a long movie. If you guys haven't seen a lot of these classic movies and you're wanting to watch them, they're not very long movies. Yeah, um, you can kind of breeze through them, um, and, and they're really fun to watch. Um, you have anything else to say? No. Sorry, our kids in the yeah. background. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not, but he's having fun watching movies. Um, but yeah, we're moving into a new place. We're going to have a whole new studio set up. Uh, we're excited to keep going. We're going to, mm -hmm. once we have that set up, we'll be able to pump out more more episodes of yeah. this uh, uh, for Check the Candy. And then obviously we'll be having more um, interviews uh, for Check the Candy and more films coming out uh, and all that good stuff. So plenty of, plenty of stuff to look forward mm -hmm. to. And um, 
Check out more cereal, less milk. Check out more cereal, less milk Sammy with, uh, with Sammy and Taylor. It's really good. They'll be pumped. They're on vacation right now. They'll be pumping out more of those as well when they get back. Um, and when we're settled into the new house, we'll be crushing it again. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know what we're going to do yet, but uh, we'll have an episode three for sure. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you guys joining us. Stand by. Cheers. <laughs>